Well, another great time of year, you know. The PLLR Star Break is, you know, it's this week. It's this upcoming weekend. It'll be a Saturday, of course, you know. There's some stuff going on before, you know, the skills challenge, everything. They got, you know, some very high-profile women stars on there. But who cares about the All-Star game? We don't talk about All-Star games here. Um, we talk about the games themselves. Man, the standings right now are looking pretty interesting. New York got a loss. But, hey, it doesn't matter when you have Jeff T leading the way with 44 points, 20 goals, which leads the league, 24 assists, which leads the league. I mean, man, it's beautiful stuff. You know, Boston, Maryland, and Philadelphia – Finally got their first win. You know, they lead out the rear. And in the West, you got the Archers, Carolina, Denver, and California, who also got their first win. Liam Entzman debuted this past weekend and had an excellent game. You know, only, what, two goals given up? Absolutely amazing performance. Connor Fields with probably the play of the season with the behind-the-legs goal, you know, or the between-the-legs goal, I meant to say the between the legs goal, which was just absolutely beautiful to watch in motion. We're on, and again, you know, right now, the level of play has been absolutely amazing. Um, you know, Philadelphia and Boston, you know, you know, rustled and tumbled again this past weekend, and it was a great game to watch. I'll tell you that much right now. Really good game to watch. Uh, what were the other, I forgot the other games that were on, you know, the ESPN family and networks that were on actual television. Note that this year and, you know, the past couple of years, technically I've been unable to watch every single PLL game. So you know, I try to keep the highlights when I can and everything like that. But right now, but right now, everything's looking pretty, pretty sleek and interesting. I mean, you got New York looking like probably one of the most dominant teams I think I've seen in a long time now. With Schellenberger, with with T, you know, and every and everybody just you know just feasting. Um, I, I know you know last time I didn't really talk about Brendan O'Neill much, but I mean you know he had a great you know he had like a great what week two or um, week three game. It was it was one of those games where he went completely off, you know, just went off the rails. But you know, other than that, you know, things been kind of quiet for Denver since then. They're two and two. Um, a lot of teams, you know, play, you know, in between four to six games. That's going to change, you know. So, you know, by the time the All-Star break is over, New York will have four games left. A team like Maryland will have five. And a team like Denver will have six. So, you know, so there's still a lot of ground to be made up. Remember, top three on each side make the postseason in the PLL. So we still got a little tight race to go. Don't think anybody's out of it yet. Nobody is out of this race yet. Um, as far as the um, as far as the Man Cup race goes, Victoria is still unbeaten. The NSL, same thing with Six Nations, still unbeaten. Um, there's archives of the past couple games, you know, in which Austin Stotts and Lyle and everybody on Six Nations has just been going off, and Nate Smith as well, you know, just going off. So Stotts leads the league in points with 31 goals, 20 assists right now. Um, at 51 points in total. And then Will Malcolm, who plays for Panther City, but you know, of course, he also he also plays a little bit up north, you know what I'm saying? He plays out in the north. Will Malcolm with 67 points, 35 of them being goals, which leads the league. He does not lead the league in assists in the WLA. He has 32. So MSL races right now, if you aren't booking Victoria and, I mean, it should be Victoria versus Six Nations in the man. The Mento's a little bit more tricky to, you know, kind of get a get a thought in because this is the last week of the BCJALL season. This is the last week of the BC Junior A lacrosse season. Rocky Mountain is done. There is one team in the um, Junior A, Rocky Mountain, that is winless. And, you know, the Miners are 13-2, Raiders 11-4. Really should be those two, two teams right there locking up the championship. Mounties 6-9, and the SWAT with 0-15 with only 73 goals the entire season. 
disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, but yeah, um, the Adnax Coquitlam, you know, 14 and 3 in the BCG. Uh, I've, NBC Junior A, I'm just going to say it like that, NBC Junior A, 14-3. Now, um, I've been trying to access the OJLL website. I don't know what's going on with it right now, but again, the whole Toronto Beaches situation, they've lost you know, a game or two since then, so things have been kind of up in the air the past couple weeks in the OJLL. Um, and honestly, you know, right now the BC is also getting pretty interesting. So don't just don't just sit here and think, oh well, you know, you only talked about the OJLL last time. I, I, look, there's a lot of lacrosse in the summer, man. You got you got to forgive me for that. There's a lot of lacrosse in the summertime, you know, and that's not even counting leagues we don't even cover anymore. We don't go, we don't even cover athletes unlimited here no more. So I just have zero interest in. It. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what the, what the playoff structure is looking like, you know. But right now, it's a tight race. Again, most teams have one game left. Some teams have three. But, again, teams like Langley, um, Victoria – well, not Victoria, actually. It, 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 it's, it's more of a race, you know, between, you know – Teams two through six, you know, you know, Poco's ten and five. Uh, that's Burnaby, Burnaby's junior teams nine, seven, and one. Well, ten, five, and one for Poco. New Westminster eight, and nine. Victoria Junior A eight, and nine. So again, I think the top two spots are more or less locked, if I'm not mistaken. But you know, there could be some changes there. I think. I, I'm not sure how in the world the playoffs are going to go right now because I mean, it's the top four in the BC. It's top four in BC Junior A, so I'm not sure how in the world that's going to go. But there's still a couple games left. Again, some teams have you know, three games left to go. Most teams have one. Some teams have two. One team has three, but they're completely out of playoff race, and Langley is winless in Junior A, which is absolutely disgusting. Um. You know, as far as the rest of the MSL and WLA races go, whew, it's going to be a dog fight. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to be a dog fight. You know, it's going to be a dog fight. Don't worry about it. We still got we still got a long way to go. We still got a long way to go. So, uh, you know, Junior A playoffs and stuff like that, they'll begin and everything like that, you know, this upcoming week. And then we'll, you know, of course, talk about some stuff. You know, like three or four weeks. You know, when it comes to the other the other stuff that's going on. You know, as far as the playoffs go, and you know, in in the junior A leagues, and then we'll see how in the world things end up um, with the uh, with the um, you know, WLA because WLA still has like eight games to go, so it's still like a couple weeks to go. MSL, on the other hand, you know. They only have a 12 game season this year, so the season is going to wrap up in like a week or so, you know, for the MSL. So, you know, most teams have played like 10 games, some have played eight, but uh, it is what it is. So, that's basically going to do it for me. Um, I know this is kind of early, I was going to do it this weekend, but I ended up being like, no, let's just do it today. Let's talk about this stuff today and everything like that. So playoff races are getting tight. PLL on All-Star break. Catch up on the highlights on the PLL YouTube page if you want to. I'm Big Boy Sports. I'm signing out, and I will see you all on Sunday after, you know, the late night game between the Billings Outlaws and the Nashville Cats. And I'll, you know, because I'm not going to record at 1130 at night on a Saturday night. I'm going to do it on Sunday. So I'll see you on Sunday this weekend into football. We'll be back and um, still trying to get some word from up one athletic showcase. If not at some point over the next two weeks, I'll try and contact Ozarks. So we'll see. So 
Big Boy Sports signing out. Um, another collab is in the works. I'm thinking about doing it during Arena Mania weekend because that's the only indoor football game going on that weekend. So I think I'm going to do it that weekend. Um, so I think I'm going to collab that weekend, see what I can cook up with the boys. So um, I'm going to get on out Sean's hair and we'll talk later on Sunday. So I'll take care and have a good one.